Well, today, Steven Gerrard announced his retirement from professional football, and he will sorely be missed. One of the most decorated careers you will see. Absolutely incredible player. Uh, the complete player. The ultimate box-to-box -box midfielder in his prime will forever be remembered for leading Liverpool's incredible comeback in the 2005 Champions League final against AC Milan, where Liverpool were down 3-0 at halftime. Gerard gave the most rousing of halftime team talks, which we will unfortunately probably never hear, but at any rate, he scored the goal early in the second half that galvanized the Reds, that made them believe that they could pull off the greatest comeback in UEFA Champions League history, which they did. And what a famous night that was in Istanbul. Gerard finished his career with nine trophies, including three League Cups, two FA Cups, as well as the UEFA Cup to go with his Champions League title. Gerard finished second in the Premier League on three occasions with Liverpool. His critics will always point to the fact that he never won an EPL title. But don't let that take away from the fact that Gerard is an incredible footballer. He had a wonderful career. And in my opinion, he is the greatest midfielder of his entire generation. There are some incredible players who played in the same era as Steven Gerrard. Some players that come to mind. Andrea Pirlo, fantastic player uh, who created attacks from deep inside the pitch, did not bring the same attacking flair that Gerrard had. Frank Lampard scored more goals than Steven Gerrard, but that's the only thing Lampard really had over Gerrard. Not nearly the defender Gerrard was. The same can be said for Paul Scholes, another incredible player. Don't get me wrong, but he never learned how to tackle. And Steven Gerrard was the master of tackling, especially the crunching last-minute challenges that became a signature for his game, his calling card, if you will, to go along with that thunderous right foot of his. Jared played 748 total games, and he had 114 caps for England and scored 212 goals, 186 of which were scored for Liverpool. And, you know, it's not just the goals he scored. It's not just the tackles he made. It is, this is a man who defies what modern football has become, chasing money, doing whatever you can to glory hunt and ride coattails for trophies. Gerard stuck with Liverpool as offers poured in from the likes of Real Madrid, a richer Chelsea squad. He entertained them, but ultimately his heart was with Liverpool. No footballer is more loyal than Steven Gerrard has been to Liverpool Football Club. Now, some critics, of course, will also point to the fact that Steven Gerrard ended his career with the LA Galaxy. I understand why he did it. He wanted to still play regular minutes while he still had something left in the tank. He did not want to settle for a bit part squad player role. And on top of that, Brendan Rodgers straight up pushed him out of Anfield. I mean, it was an absolutely disgraceful decision Rodgers made a few years ago when he dropped Steven Gerrard for a Champions League match against Real Madrid. One of the many unforgivable things that Rodgers did as Liverpool manager. But this is not about Brendan Rodgers. This is about Steven Gerrard, who will go down as arguably Liverpool's greatest player of all time. Undisputably top five. I think the debate amongst uh, many Liverpool supporters will be uh, between Steven Gerrard and Kenny Dalglish as numbers one and two, but ultimately, uh, when you're talking about captains, Stevie was just so inspirational. I mean, he wore the captain's armband from 2003 under Gerard Houllier up until his departure uh, in 2015. Twelve years is a long time to serve as the captain of such a huge, 
massive club like Liverpool, and he never let the pressure get to him. There were so many times where the Reds were in dire straits, and he just bailed them out with a moment of brilliance. I think the fact that uh, Steven Gerrard never won a Premier League title says more about the supporting cast that were around him and the management and ownership of the club uh, than it says about him. I mean, guys like you know Zidane, Messi, the best players in the world, they hold Gerrard in the highest regard. They know that Stevie was better than his counterparts, even if his teams did not always get the better results. So look, ultimately, Steven Gerrard looks uh, like he deserves to be considered one of the greatest footballers uh, of all time. Like I said, the greatest of his generation, certainly the greatest English football footballer of his generation. And, uh, you know, he's just uh, a class act. The way he has carried himself uh, on and off the pitch, uh, with the exception of maybe a, a moment or two of <laughs> drunken violence, Jared has been a model professional, and he will be sorely missed by Liverpool Football Club. In terms of what the future holds for him, that should be uh, quite interesting. He says he looks forward to uh, returning to television on BT Sport, but he has been working on his coaching badges. He's made no secret of the fact that he wants to get into management, and I certainly look forward to having him in Liverpool's dugout. So, Stevie G, thank you for everything you did for Liverpool Football Club. Wish you a happy retirement, and of course, you'll never walk alone.